I've lived a life that's full. I've traveled each and every highway. But more, much more than this, I did it my way. My name is Leah Peddle, and I'm from Lethbridge uh, around Barnabista Bay and I'm studying classical voice under the direction of Shelley Neville. Lethbridge is rural Newfoundland, so opportunities in the city were always exciting, but I loved being home because I could relax and enjoy the rural lifestyle of Newfoundland. I started music lessons when I was around three or four years old. My mom's family are very musical, and that was they were a really big influence on me growing up. I studied classical voice, classical guitar, um, piano and flute for about 15 years altogether. Studying remotely as a music student is challenging, but Shelley has been great. She's given me all my repertoire for next year. And I have lots of music books and instruments at home to help me practice and she's been really positive, really uh, helpful emailing me and Zoom meetings are helpful as well. I meet with my professors and my classmates to talk about the upcoming school year and how we're doing with the remote learning. I'm doing English and police studies as an elective and an education course for students with disabilities. I perform weekly, being a voice student. I know a lot of the instrumentalists perform a couple times a semester because their pieces are longer, and, but the voice students perform a lot. And we get to dress up and it's very professional and everyone is so supporting and accommodating and encouraging while I perform. And it just makes it so much easier. If we mess up, I mean, everyone messes up, so. You have to be very disciplined and very independent learning remotely because you're on your own schedule and you have to stay on top of everything. But I've managed to do that with a little encouragement from my mom and my classmates as well. My tips for a new month student starting remotely this fall would be to stay disciplined and focused on your studies. Academics is the most important thing here and you're still a university student even though you're in an independent and isolated setting. Staying positive and connecting with professors and classmates would, would be really supportive for everyone.